Hi, my name is Dr. Selena Friesen, and I'm here today to give you a little introduction what you might experience during your first uh, visit to an optometrist for your first eye exam. So you to bring your parents or your grandparents or or someone with you if you'd like and I would come and invite you in the room with them and you could either sit by yourself here on this chair or you could sit on your mom or dad's lap if you prefer otherwise I have a spot for your audience so you can keep eye contact at all times so what we do is I usually start with trying to see how your eyes work together and I have a little favorite puppet here that I like to use for that. So I'm just going to move to the position I would be in and introduce you to my puppet. So what I'm looking at here is I would talk to you about my interesting puppet here and get an idea of how your eyes move together. So all I need is eyes open and I would talk about this silly guy with eyes on the top of his head who's quite blue and I would also check to see how well you could cross your eyes. Another test that we do is we check to see your depth perception. So uh, to check your 3D vision, I have different size of 3D glasses and we just figure out what either looks the best or what would fit the best for you. And then I have a couple of interesting books here. So this one here you can see has a dinosaur and some animals going in and out of the page. And this one here has some animal circles and shapes for you to identify. I actually have quite a few books to, to show you. And if you do know your numbers already before you start kindergarten, I do a color vision test and see if your color vision is normal or deficient. Okay, I'm also very curious what you can see and what you can't see. This is the tricky part because a lot of parents like to answer for, for you and a lot of parents want you to give me all the correct answers. I'm actually more curious on what you can't see or I'm, I'm also kind of curious on the wrong answers too, but we just work through this. So some of the pictures that I would show you, one is a birthday cake, because I love birthday cakes, um, a hand, and then we decide if this is a bird or duck, you know, it can go either way. And this stylized picture we call a horse. I also have another set of pictures that I like to show you. And we decide if that's a ball or circle. We decide if this is a box or square. This one is kind of interesting. It goes all over the place and I get a lot of creative, great answers. This one here is pretty straightforward. Most of us agree that this is a house. Okay, so two of the last important tests that I do. One is to measure what your prescription is. I'm curious if you're farsighted, nearsighted, or have astigmatism. So if you're pretty comfortable at this point, I would bring this in front of you and I, I ask if you've ever used binoculars before and then I stand quite far away and use my light to measure what your prescription is. Usually at this point I'll be showing you a video just to distract you from the fact that I'm shining a light in your eye. If this is a little bit bothersome and you're worried about losing eye contact with mom or dad, I do have a bunch of lens options so that when I'm measuring your prescription you can still see all around the room and not feel blocked behind there. The last test that I really want to get in, besides my bonus tests at the end, is to take a look at the health of your eyes. And so I can use a light like this, and I'll show you that it doesn't tickle or itch, just so you know what's coming at you, and it's quite a dim light. And then also, I use another light, and kids love this and laugh like crazy, but I put it on my head, and I stand quite far away, and, and take another look at the health of the eyes. So it's pretty straightforward and kind of fun.